I'm gonna give you basically a conversational approach to ASEA, what it is, why it's something that has been an important part of our you know, health equation, why I won't work with anybody that doesn't take that. Um, and Meeting I can explain why. Yeah, not trying to talk to somebody like you, you need a PhD to be listening to this, but just give you some basic understanding of what is this? Why is it something that I feel is extremely beneficial and important? I Part of the reason why I love sharing it with somebody that I might be working with is because honestly, it makes me look better because as soon as somebody's using it, and we can get into that a little bit, things start to happen in a positive way, regardless of anything else I do. Um, thankfully, it's a synergistic combination of things that, that I will do. It's not just this, but this is a, is a foundational piece to everything else that I would do to have somebody's health get back on track. I'm just gonna zip through some basics, you know? What we're looking at is essentially how do we work? Meaning, how do we as humans work? You can fast forward and break that down to cellular function, right? We all are made of cells. It doesn't matter if it's hair, skin, teeth. It doesn't matter what it is, it's a cell. It's a human cell. That needs to be working properly for ultimate health and healing to occur. And what is happening today more than ever in history is our health of ourselves has been challenged in so many different unique ways and ways that are really hard to give them the benefit and the, the, uh, the tools to become healthy, repair, and get back to being able to do the job they're designed to do without having all of this negative input that is causing the breakdown of the cell. So if we go back to the basics and say we are cells, it's something that's a pretty important thing to look at is how do we make sure those cells are able to do what they're designed to do? How do we try and give them the best toolkit to continue to do what they're designed to do? If the cell's not working, you're in trouble. Something is not going to be functioning properly. Let's get to what is actually the important part and what is something like ASEA? What is, it, what is that actually helping? So within our cells, we have a, a bunch of really cool machines that are having to do their individual job for the cell to actually be doing what the cell needs to do. Within that, category, there are things called mitochondria. And that is basically your power production plant. It's like this little factory that takes in everything that you've been told you need to do to be healthy. You need to get some sunlight. So our bodies take that in. You need to have good nutrition. And we won't even cover good nutrition, but just think good nutrition. That has to go in. You have to have hydration, you have to have mineralization, you have to have all of these things that come into our bodies, but it doesn't just, boom, turn into energy. Our bodies have to take those things in, and then there's a whole conversion from, whether it's in here, whether it's absorbed through skin, but there's a process that takes place to get it to the cell. Once it's to the, into the cell, now, some of you may remember the Krebs cycle, it's from biology, but this process that now takes the fuel that's been transported to the cell, now the cell is like, okay, let's get to work. What has to happen is the fuel goes through this factory, goes through the certain process of the Krebs cycle, and what's produced is called ATP, which just keep it simple, it produces energy. That energy is then used for whatever the energy requirement is in that area. If the fuel isn't there, that's a problem. If the mitochondria doesn't have the ability to take the fuel and turn it into the energy that needs to be there for the, the, the fit cell and the rest of the, the functions around there to, to actually work, that's a problem. So that process of you know taking in, having the conversion happen, and then the end result is energy, um, that's everything. If that doesn't happen efficiently, you're not alive. Because without that process being a smooth process, function just starts declining. 
and it starts in one small little incremental area, but when one piece doesn't function, it's connected to the next piece, it's connected to the next piece. Now you have these whole areas that have a lack of function. You don't have to go too far down that path. If something in an area is not functioning well, you're gonna have a problem because everything in us is an important part of our process, right? It has to all work for us to be healthy. So, so dis-ease starts in the cell. If a cell is not well, something yeah. will be going wrong in your body. Exactly, 